So, without further ado, here are our top ten. You're not going to want to go back home. Good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is for you. This is Soren and Scratchin. I am the Eagle Fan. And I am Evil Chicken. We wanted to take you on a little bit of a journey today. We are going to discuss our top 10 locations that we have been to. We're trying to go with a few little specific locations and some details about them that maybe some of you may or may not know about. Please feel free, if you like this, to click on like and subscribe over here or over there, whichever direction it is. Let us know if you have any other ideas, any other locations that you guys have been to and you like. And if you've been to our locations and you know things that we didn't even mention, because I know that myself, I know I've missed a lot of things. I can't speak for Mr. Mr. Chicken over there. <laughs> I've, I've missed lots of stuff. Please put it down in the comments. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. So it's going to be our top 10 list. has a little bit yes. of personal flair. We're going to also include some honorable mentions in there when we get there. It's been an interesting process so far as we've kind of developed our list independently and we've gotten to sit down and discuss. It's a very interesting conversation so far, at least in my opinion. Hopefully it'll yeah, be in too. yours as well. <laughs> so without further ado, here are our top 10 places. I will start us out with number 10. I've actually got a couple of little in interesting places listed here within the number 10. It is Palm Springs, California. I've been out there a few different times, some for work, some for convention related. So for work, but you get to kick back and relax a little bit more than you would for work. There are two specific locations. One's a location and one is an event here. A, Palm Springs is in the middle of the desert. It's hot. So expect that if you're going out there. If you're going out there in the summer, it's going to be really hot. I was out there a couple different times, one being January. Okay. And it was nice and 70 degrees out there, and I was enjoying life. I was also out there in summertime when I didn't want to walk around too terribly much. And I feel like an ant under a magnifying glass. Yes. I would think. So the first place is actually the location. There is San Jacinto Peak. There is a very large mountain. It's right outside of Palm Springs. It's about 9,000 feet up at the top. Wow. You take a cable car up to the top. From down below, you see that mountain. And right. it looks like it's just brown all the way up. When you get up there, it's rich and green and it's a very nice area to walk. It is, it's very much like a forest that you're walking around in up there. Very cool. Now there's a couple things to know. One is it's about 30 to 40 degrees cooler up top than it is down below. So if you go up That's there right. in the summertime, right? when we went there, it was probably about 105, 110 down in the, in the desert. When we got up to the top, right. it was about 65, 70. So wow. you, you're going to need to dress accordingly. Because if you go up there in the winter, like I mentioned when I was there in the winter, it was 70 down below. There's snow up top in the winter sometimes. Wow. So Got an identity crisis. Yeah. It's, if you're planning on going up there, you may actually need to bring winter clothing for that little trip, <laughs> even though you're going to Palm Springs. It's a nice there place. A lot of people go there for golf and such. I didn't go there for that uh, in Palm Springs. What I did find while I was there is it's every Thursday night. It's called Thursday Village Fest. It's a little main street. They have all of the different vendors come out. They may put little tables up on the street. The right, locals right. come out. The tourists flock out. <laughs> walking nice. up and down. Nice. It's almost like a little art fest type of scenario where you're seeing it. the different different things that each of, of the little vendors offer and what they've made, what they've created. 
I, I just liked it. It was a nice little feel to it, walking around, a nice little small town kind of feel to it. And I found a nice, it was an English pub I found. I went there and sat down and had a couple of drinks and watched, you know, I think there might have been a rugby match on or something. It was, cool. it was true, true English pub kind of pub. And what I found was actually a local business. And, no, I'm sorry, they're all local businesses, but it was a local business in terms of, especially for that night, it was more of just the locals that were in there. They didn't get many tourists because this was down towards the end of the section, as opposed okay. to there was another one right in the middle, which was sounds like it was more of that's where all the tourists go to. So the locals tend to hang out at the other one down, <coughs> down at the end. So it was nice because cool. I got to meet some local people and, and talk about different places in the area with them. And just a nice place. If you get down, if you get to go there, again, if you're going in the middle of summer, it's going to be coming. <laughs> Expect to sweat. But if you're Yikes. going there in spring, fall, it's still going to be hot, but not okay. overbearing. If you go there in the wintertime, you're not going to want to go back home. <laughs> if, if you're from an area like us where it's probably 20 or 30 back home and <laughs> exactly wow so that that is my number 10 and that brings us up to number nine which number I mean, nine have information on number nine on the hit list lo and behold every father's day we used to uh go camping in assateague island virginia um, it was great. Um, we would camp there on the dune, and uh, that's on the, the Virginia side, the state-run side. But uh, the nice thing about the Assateague side is that they spray for mosquitoes. They don't do that on on the uh, the state-run side, and um, they are so thick there. You could just go like this, and you've killed a dozen. I don't recommend that, but uh, I do recommend camping in the dune. The wild ponies are there. You can watch them raid campsites. You can try to stop them. They don't care. They're raiding the camp like you're like, shoo, go. Nah, they don't care. They'll just keep eating out of the cooler. But uh, it, it, it's just a, this peaceful place. And you hear these the footfall of the horses going by. And you camp on the dunes. You get up at the sunrise. You watch it happen. You see pods of dolphins. Uh, swimming out there. It's just beautiful. Um, it's uh, one of my favorite places. I'd love to go back and camp again. That's my number nine. That gets us to number eight. Number eight is something that we each have been to. So we, I know we've had different experiences there. I've had a short experience there. I think you may have had a longer time there than I did. With, with me, it was just part of a drive uh, first leg of our drive home from Disney and gotcha. stopping there for a few hours. But I really liked the place when I was there. I want to go back because in my mind, it is the Cape May of the South. Oh, I like that. <laughs> for anyone that's in our area, they may get the references there, but it is Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. It's a nice yeah, little absolutely. coastal town. It's got history. Uh, I like walking around. My daughter found this little bookstore that was that was there. It was a good old fashioned type bookstore. You could find a bunch cool. of things in there. She found like a special edition type copy of a book that was there. So we've got that. Very so she's cool. got that as a memory of when we were there. And I just wanted to see more. I didn't get to see enough. A, I was driving that day and I was ex exhausted. So I, I actually rested in the truck for a little bit while they went out walking. And then I caught up with them cool very cool more it's, experiences it's a beautiful place it's it's uh, plucked out of time uh, the hanging spanish moss is i i love that i absolutely adore that um, it's just it's beautiful the squares that they have there for uh, the, you know, the parks that the way it was set up it's it's gorgeous and there's there's so much history around you first african-american church i think is there Free American, uh, African American church. That is, there's a, a synagogue that's there that's been there forever. <laughs> there's a great place called Leopold's Ice Cream that I highly recommend as a large corpulent fellow, but it's got a vibe. 
unto itself. There's a lot of, there's a big art scene happening, music, um, those squares, again, they're just awesome. Now, Dave, you had mentioned that bookstore. I'm very curious. Was that down at the City Walk where they have the cobblestones? Yes. Oh, those cobblestones were actually ship's ballast, um, which is kind of fascinating to me. Of course, I'm a geek. There's such history. Some of it good, some of it not so good. But the beautiful thing is, uh, Savannah, it's come a long way, baby. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I liked from the moment we got in there, there was a point where we were driving in, you're driving down the road, and just the right. canopies of the trees that you're kind of yeah. driving through. Like, to me, that said, you know, throw back to a southern town kind of a, a yeah. scenery at that point. So I yeah. really like that. I found that very, very nice, very, very good intro to the location. And then it was just a nice, nice little spot. To, to, like I said, we spent just a few hours there. If we do the drive again, that right. is going to be one of our overnight places. So we can at least stay there for a couple of days. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I, I think it, it's, it's worthy of it. Those, those oak trees with that Spanish moss is just, it's something yeah. to say. And uh, it's just beautiful. Yep, beautiful. So that what do we got next, Dave? Number seven now, sir. And this is one that was on your list. Oh, well, <clears throat> let's let's go a little bit further south. Uh, we're going to hop on A one A, and we're going to slide down to Bahia Honda um, in the Florida Keys. It's really close to Spanish Harbor Key, and it's also close to. Uh, um, it's not that far from Marathon, maybe 12 miles. It's an amazing place. It's, it's Jimmy Buffett would say it's that one particular harbor. Um, there is a railroad bridge that a hurricane came through and destroyed, <laughs> but it's still there. And you can walk up and take a look out over the harbor and out into um, out into the these crystal azure waters and do you see like there's little dark areas here and there and then you finally get into the water and it feels like stepping into a bathtub and you if you're lucky and i highly recommend bringing some uh swim goggles and uh a snorkel wouldn't be bad either you'll you'll notice that the dark areas that you thought were maybe difference in depth or anything no, it's life. There's life out there. And you can, if you're patient, you can see it. It's another world. So yeah, bring your snorkel gear, check it out. Uh, we saw some fish and things like that. We saw turtles that uh, had their nests and it was all cordoned off because these sea turtles are going to get right out there and head right into the ocean. It's just an amazing place. And, and Bahia Honda. I highly recommend it. We were there before the major hurricane, and that major hurricane cut away a lot of the island, to be honest. We were there before and after, and uh, loved it both times. But if you get there, give it a shot. What do I have for number six? I have Mama the Forum, India. Nice. So, so we're going a, a little international for this one. I've been to India three different times for work and this was a place that I went to the very first trip. Very first trip was down there. I was there with another person from the office was also there at the same time and they sent us on a couple of different trips over the weekend to see different things and one oh, of the cool. places we went down to was Mama La Forum. This is a, a place in, it's in the southern state in India. Um, it's a, Tamil Nadu was the state. It is an hour and a half or so, or it would be an hour and a half hour driving time, maybe okay. down to there. Over there, it was okay. probably a three hour drive. But it was, it's a, it's a nice place because of the history there. There are temples and monuments which date back to the seventh century. Remarkable. These are things that are much older than anything that we would have seen over here. Carved out of stone, just the feel of the area. 
Now, I did get myself a nasty sunburn that he did, but uh, it, you know, it was worth it. You got to see something that I haven't seen ever. And it was something right. that just made the trip that much more special, getting to see something, something with that much, that much history to it, that much. I would imagine it's got to be humbling to be um, next to such antiquity, you know? There's also this other little place that we stopped right down in that same little area there. It is a big boulder. I don't know what's keeping it standing how it's standing. It's a big really? boulder standing on end, almost seems like it's on a hill. Right. And it's just been there forever. <laughs> or, or, you know, what so was it? Wind erosion? Say at least. What was yeah. that? Was it wind erosion or water um, erosion? Or? I didn't get the details. The people that were there didn't really have all of the details. It was just one of those neat things to see. And you can see everybody was stopping to take pictures there anyway. Awesome. If I can find those pictures of that, I'll, I'll I'll put that picture up here as well. Cool. Very cool. How about we pick this up in the next episode with the remaining list? Why not? And with, our, to make. and with our honorable mentions as well for that. So with that, thank you everybody for tuning in. We will see you very, very soon. Mm -hmm.